most people here get around by train uh, or walk. Uh, most people don't have a car. You can have a car in Tokyo, it's really expensive, but uh, most people use the train. And there are actually different types of trains. Um, there's the subway and then there's the basically surface level train. Uh, the most familiar train that most people are, are familiar with is the Yamanote line that runs a circle around Tokyo. <laughs> As Tokyo is a big spread out city with like, I don't know, about five or six downtown areas. And uh, the Yamanote line serves all of them in a circular motion. And then you have uh, the other, uh, what are called the JR, Japanese Railway uh, lines that come off of this and spur out into the outer regions of Tokyo and into Japan. And um, you also have the Subway. Which is kind of interesting because there are two subway companies here. Uh, there is the Tokyo Metro and there is the Toy A subway line. Uh, and yeah, when you go from one to the other, you have to pay the fare again. So uh, you, you don't get like a free transfer or anything, you just have to come out the gate basically and pay if I'm coming off the Toei Oedo line I have to pay and then if I'm going on to the Ginza Metro line I'm going to have to pay to get on. The JR line is basically such that it's a whole, it's a railroad, it, it's not a subway. And um, it's probably cheaper than the subway depending on where you're going in the distance. And that's one of the more interesting factors is that here you pay per distance. The farther you go, the more you pay. So there are actually two different ways that you can pay for the train service. They have these little magnetic tickets that um, get dispensed out of the machine that are um, really wonderful if you know how far you're going and how much it costs. Most people just buy the cheapest ticket possible and they put it through the machine, go through the gate. You have to actually hold on to the ticket until the end of your journey or otherwise you might end up paying um, a lot more than you expected to. will be displayed in English. Of course, if you buy the cheapest ticket and your journey is longer than what you paid, you have to go to the fare adjustment machine and adjust it, which is all really annoying. and. Um, it's much easier just to get one of these, which is a Suica card. And um, with the Suica card, you can actually load a balance in the denomination of thousands um, onto your Suica card. And you can use this on the JR railways, the subway, the toy subway, the metro. You can even use it at the convenience store. You can use it at the vending machine. It's actually great. Uh, when I couldn't go to the cash machine the other night, I, uh, I used the Suiki card to buy food.
a card. It actually has my name on it. Uh, you can or cannot have your name on it depending on what you want to do. Uh, if I lose my card, I can go into any JR office and actually get the, uh, the card recovered. Uh, there is a 1,000 yen fee for that, but depending on how much money I have on it, it may be worth it.